videotape that I'm making today has as its subject matter anatomical terminology. Much of the time you won't see me on the TV, you are going to see instead a large number of word parts because we're going to be working with a process called word analysis. But let me tell you that also covering up me on the screen will be a series of slides. And the origin of these slides are uh, trips that I've made. Those of you who are in my own classes have had an introduction to anatomy in historical perspective. So you know that Greek and Latin are the origins of most of the words that you're going to be having in anatomical terminology. But for others, perhaps you don't know that, but Western science is said to have its beginnings in Greece, and early medicine came from the Greeks, such as uh, Hippocrates. But after that, after we'd had many contributions made by the Greeks, then they were conquered by the Romans, so, whose language was Latin. So we find many of the words then are of Latin origin. They started out Greek, were translated to Latin. So I'm going to be showing you some slides that I took on a recent extensive trip through Greece. However, the ones, the very few that I have that have anything to do with Italy and Rome, I've not been there for a while, so I have gotten those from the college collection. So I'm not going to put any titles or anything on them, but just to kind of fill in and you don't have to watch me on the screen all the time. So let me get started with this and just mention to you that anatomy has a very large vocabulary. But you can learn much of it by this process called word analysis. Now, all words have a word root as the foundation of the word. Transport, export, import, and support all have the word root port. Affix, prefix, suffix, and fixative have fix as their word root. A word root plus a vowel is known as a combining form. In the words microscope, microfilm, microfiche, micro is the combining form. You'll notice that O on the end. Adding the vowel to a word root to form a combining form allows two or more word roots to be joined to form a compound word. Thermometer, speedometer, Microscope and microfilm are all compound words. Adding the vowel to a word root also allows a word root to be joined with a suffix to form a word. In addition, the vowel assists by making the term easier to pronounce. In the word speedometer, the vowel O allows speed to be joined to meter. The ending that follows a word root is a suffix that can also change the meaning of a word. The suffix er or er means one who or one which. The word part or root port meaning to carry is changed by putting er after it. In the word porter, the er is a suffix, so we have someone who is carrying. A prefix is a word part that goes in front of a word root. It, too, may change the meaning of the word. The word part or root, port, meaning to carry, is changed by putting X or EX in front of it. The prefix X means from. In the word export, the EX is a prefix. So you see we have carrying from. Before continuing, let's review what we've learned. The foundation of a word is a word root. The word part that is placed in front of the word root to change its meaning is a prefix. And the word part that follows a word root is a suffix. When a vowel is added to a word root, the word part that results is a combining form. But for our purposes, we're going to use the phrase combining form even when we technically have a word root. The difference is just a vowel, A, E, I, or U, at the end of the word part. I'm very excited to have this opportunity to share some detective methods with you. We're going to be investigating words, and they're going to be the names of anatomical structures. I hope that by your becoming familiar with the parts of the words, and the meanings of the parts, 
you'll find the words themselves easier to understand, more familiar, and easier to learn. Best of all, I hope that you're going to find this process of word analysis more like a game or a puzzle than like work. But instead of just talking about the process, let's just begin and learn as we go. I'd like to begin with some everyday English words. But did you know that of our 20,000 most common English words, over 50% are of Latin origin and 10% are from Greek? Let's look at our first word. It is television. It comes from the Greek word tele, which means at a distance, and the Latin verb for seeing. I've given you two forms of this verb. The first is video, because this is the dictionary form of the word. The form vism is the part of the verb that we have adapted for our English word. We've done this by removing the um ending, or suffix, and taking vis over into our English word. Let's look at the combining forms as they're put together. Tele means at a distance, vis, seen, the eon, the ending or suffix, simply tells us that this word is a noun. So putting it all together, television is something seen at a distance. Our next word is anatomy. It comes from the Greek word tome, from the verb to cut. And this word means a cutting. Anna is a prefix, which means up. Y is a suffix naming a noun and means a process. In this case, a process of learning. So anatomy is a process of learning from cutting something up. Our next word is perimeter. This comes from two Greek words. One is metron, meaning a measure. The other is peri, a prefix meaning around. Therefore, a perimeter is a measure around. I'd like to explain something to you here. When we break up a word into its word parts for me meaning, we break it up into peri, around, and meter, a measure. However, when we break up this word in pronunciation, we break it up and say perimeter. The accent has changed. Our next word is a scientific word. As we turn to scientific words, we're going to find a dramatically higher percentage of Greek words. And there is a reason. Although the ancient Greeks did not invent science and medicine, they made the greatest contributions to these fields of any people up until those of the present time. And they firmly established Greek as the preferred scientific language up until the time of the Middle Ages. However, when doing these scientific words, we're going to use exactly the same method we've been using with our regular English words. We're going to look for prefixes. We're going to look for combining forms that carry the main meaning of the words. And we're going to look for suffixes. So let's take a look 